Okay, so this is it. And the reason I decided to use this bottle is because it's got a clip, like a Caribbean style clip. It's there, so I could clip it to my pants. So, just open it out. And what I've got right at the top is. This is just a large bag that I made with a couple of belt loops on it to put it on my belt if I ever needed to use this to put hold water to carry water in. So, and I've checked everything does fit inside that. I've also got this Theresean rod. It wasn't a particularly good one when I bought it, but I sort of wore it out. So I've put it in this tub. I've got another one in here somewhere, which I'll come to eventually. So I just threw it in there as a secondary one. In here, I've got a load of cotton wool buds. I've been soaked in Vaseline and this was just one of them like portable ashtrays that you put on your keychain but I thought it'd be a it's an okay size, it fits in nicely you know it doesn't get stuck so I've got a box of matches The only downside with these ones is they are safety ones, so I do have to make sure that the box stays dry as well. Otherwise, I won't be able to strike these anywhere. I've got a fire cube that I got in the pack when I got this. So I'll just put that in there as well, because I've never used it. I haven't had any reason to use it. I've got plenty of cordage. I've got about... 12 meters or something there of cordage and what I've done when I've made this I've put everything into little packs and in this pack I've got this is my fire pack basically I've got One of these flint strikers that you get in the survival tins that you can buy and also a book of matches out of there and actually I should point out this is a lot of what's in here is what you get in one of them survival packs I've just added extra things to it and these are actually surprisingly quite good And I also put a lighter in there as well. These are a set of instructions I got with the survival tin. <coughs> it's basically got to tie knots and about glow sticks on this side so you know when you're in situations you do forget things so having a quick look through something can often be useful a glow stick and this one this is what this pack is full of everything that I will use to catch food and to feed myself. It's got in it some fishing hooks and line. It's got some safety pins.
it's got weights and swivels for the fishing kit. However, I'm probably going to replace these with proper ones because although they're heavy, they seem a bit cumbersome to me. And I've also got some snare line. Now, you don't actually get much of this and in the house what I've got to try out is um, the picture wire, the wire that you use to hold pictures up and you get quite a lot of one of them packs so I'm going to try that out to see how well that does and I might add that to this pack as well I've also got sewing kit and I put these in because essentially not everything you make outdoors food wise will be very nice you know, so anything you can add to that to improve the flavour is welcome. So just got a couple of oxos and some salt and peppers. Sachets in there. I've also got a wire saw. systems emergency whistle and also something that I put in here. I actually got this in this pack when I bought it. And what it is is it's a compass which isn't particularly good. But it's got a thermometer on it, which is useful, you know. I mean, as many times you're out, you think it's absolutely freezing, when in actual fact it's not. So actually just knowing that it's actually not as cold as you think it is can age you in, you know, your comfort level in the outdoors. And on the back, which I found quite useful, it's got, I don't know if you've been able to see properly, it's got a chart. So that you can work out the um, wind chill factor that you're experiencing. And on this, it goes down to minus 94. And that's with a 40 mile an hour wind and minus 25 degree weather. So it's quite a useful thing to have this, that's why I kept it in. I've also got button compass that I got in a survival kit. And this I've got this. I've got a whistle, a small whistle, I don't think I've got it on me. Um it's like a metal one and you can unscrew it and when you unscrew it this was inside it. And what it's got in it, it's got, in case of emergency, notifying you to put somebody to call, like the address, numbers, and then it's got, and then on this side of it, keep it on, on this side here, it's all your information. So it's got your date of birth, your name. Sex, well, if you found you, don't think that's going to be very relevant. Hair colour, eye colour, blood type. And it's got to date your last had your tetanus, and it, if you're allergic to penicillin. Special medication requirements, allergies to food or drugs. So, should anything happen to you when you're in the outdoors, 
and someone will find you. You can just give them this or they can find this, they'll have this and then they'll know. For instance, not to give you penicillin if you're allergic to penicillin. And they also know who to notify. If something happens, and I also put it. This came with this as well. It's useless, really, if I'm honest. It's got a four. A knife, which I've tried sharpening and still isn't particularly sharp. A spoon, and a cannon bottle opener. And the last thing in here. water purification tablets. Now in here there's several different types. There's them ones which I got when I bought a survival tin. They come with it. And what I've also got is these ones I can't remember who makes these these are what uh, my turn actually these ones are made by life systems then um, you'll see there's two different types a silver and a gold packet now the silver ones are just standard everyday water purification tablets no chlorine based And I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 8, 16, I've got 24 of them in there. And each one of these will purify 1 litre of water. And these ones, in the gold packet, these are high strength. So, and these ones will kill Giardia, Cryptosporidium, a lot of waterborne diseases, these ones will kill. So that's the reason I've got these ones as well as these ones. And I'm not sure, I don't know if these ones are chlorine based. But these ones definitely are. And also in the same pack I got these from. I got this. And this is the basic water filter filter out any particles that are in the water because all the particulate matter that's still in there will prevent your tablets from working properly if they might not work as well so you might end up with still some you know viral or bacterial things still in the water when you drink it which is bad news you don't want that so I'll put that in there as well and that's everything now that's in here now there's a couple of things missing and off the top of my head now and going through it I can't think what they were what I was going to throw in. But for pretty much most situations now there's a pretty large survival tin there. And also, when it's in the bottle, it is completely waterproof, so that's a good thing. So, thanks for joining me on this video.